Welcome back to another episode of State of Play, where today I am joined by the Mildura Lady Heat import for 2019, Alicia Lovett. Alicia, thanks for joining me. No problem. Good to be here. Now, you've settled into Mildura really well at the moment. The girls have been having a fantastic Big V basketball season. But for those who don't know, can you tell us a little bit about your basketball history and your background? Well, um, I started playing basketball when I was four. Um, and it just trickled from there. I've been so passionate about it for a long time. You know, my father played basketball, but quite a few of my family played basketball, or just sports in general. Um, played in high school, was like four state championships. Um, went to college in the University of Cincinnati, you know, did some good things there. And scored a lot, you know, team thing. But then I played in Spain my first year, broke a record there. Um, then I played in the UK, which I did some good things there too, and now I'm here, so. So a fair bit of a journey already so yeah. far, and now you're in Mildura. How are you finding it here, and how have you settled in? Um, I love it here, honestly. Um, it's, the hospitality here is really amazing. You know, you don't get that most of the time, you know, with the fans and things like that. You know, most time it's not too much of a fan base, but here's a beautiful place. You know, everybody is just open-armed, you know, always, are you okay? Do you need anything? And, you know, that's amazing to have, you know, a good fan base. People come out to support men and women. It's amazing. Uh, at the start of the season, it was two losses in the first two games for, for you girls, but since then you've only had the one loss and you're now on top of the ladder. It's been a pretty good turnaround in form. Um, yeah, what's the feeling like amongst the group at the moment? Um, right now, we just enjoy each other, honestly. We have fun. We play well, you know, together on the court, but we also are a family and friends off the court, which makes a big difference, you know, when you have that kind of chemistry off the court. You know, you bring that on the court, and it's amazing when you watch it and see it. Uh, as a number of younger girls, I guess, in the team, do you try and sort of pass on some of your experience from playing basketball to them? I do. I do a lot, you know. Not even just me, you know, you know, Vanessa Power played in the States before, you know, um, who else? Mickey played in the States before. So, you know, we all just try to, you know, help them out as them being younger and, you know, experience and playing with us. It's amazing for them to see, you know, and hear the different things that you can do outside of just playing here. Uh, you started the season personally on fire. I was having a look through some of the stats. You're number one in the competition with points per game with nearly 28. Uh, number one with rebounds per game in 14. In the top three for assists per game. The most steals and second most turnovers in the competition. So <laughs> statistically, not a bad start to the year. It's not. You know, <laughs> honestly, I don't take credit at all. I literally give it to my teammates because if, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I am now. You know, I'm such a team player. I really don't like talking about myself. I really hate it. But I can see you're already a little <laughs> bit uh, embarrassed when I brought those up. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, I, I'm such a team player and I love to talk about the team. I never like to just talk about one person because one person cannot make a team, you know, so... That's basically all for me. <laughs> a, a big strength of the team in general, I think, is the versatility that you all have, all being able to play multiple positions. Do you see that as a strength as well? I do see that as a strength. You know, um, we can all play inside and out, which is, you know, beautiful because when you have a team like that, that's dangerous, I say. I tell people that all the time. <laughs> and because you're not the tallest team going around, obviously a little bit more it's probably relied upon in terms of uh, fitness, in terms of athleticism, and also probably in terms of gameplay. Um, what is it that you think makes your team stand out a little bit more? What are some of the main factors that you think can take you, you know, deep into the season? Um, I just think that, you know, our pressure on the, uh, like on defense is a major key for us. I think we do so well when we play defense and then transition into offense. I think us running a lot, most teams don't like to run, so we run because we have that, you know, uh, with staying and the energy to do that from not just having, you know, any post players. We have more guards than anything. So, and we can, like you said before, we all can play inside and out. So I think that is the major key, you know, defense first before anything. And I'm sure that's probably the message that uh, Coach James Madigan has pushed along as well. What's it like playing under him? He's a man who wears his heart on his sleeve, but he's a, <laughs> but he's a very good basketball mind and certainly a very good tactician when it comes to the game. Honestly, Jamie is amazing, I'm telling you. It's, you know, he's hard on us, but he also gets us to a point where we want to be better, you know, and I think that's the most important part of a coach, you know. 
he wears his heart on his sleeve, so so do we. You know, I feel like our your coaches a resembles of your his, of his team. You know, so I think when you see him, you you see us. You know, and when you see us, you see him. So I think you know, honestly, he's amazing. He's smart. He knows where to put us. He knows the things that we like and we don't like. And he tried to you know make us look so much better sometimes when things are really crappy. He finds a way to make it look so much easier and so much better, you know? So I, I really commend him for that. And before I let you go for today, uh, how far do you think the team can go this season? Obviously the girls were right in the mix up until probably semi-finals last year. Do you think you've got the team that can go the distance? I do, I definitely do. You know, that's the, that's the plan to go all the way this year, you know, and I just think if we continue to, you know, fight for each other and just continue to go hard every day, I think anything can happen. Well, Alicia, thank you very much for joining me today and all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you again for joining us on MildraWeekly.com.au. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos.